Oh boy. Hi everybody, welcome back to Wonder Rover Gaming. Uh, I'm playing Sagebrush, kinda, today. Um, I'm having trouble. Uh, some of you may have noticed I have a lump on me. That's my dog. Um, he apparently thinks he's a bird today, and and he wants to be part of... Hi! Hey! What are you doing? Um, you don't want to play this game, because it's really scary. And you might get scared. So, do you think you could... You're not a parrot. You want to sit in my lap? <gasps> Say hi to everyone. Hello. Say hello, bud. Okay. I need... We're going to put you down now, okay? It's fine, really. You can hang out in my lap if you want to, but you can't be on my shoulder. That was my dog, everybody. He's beautiful. Okay, so here we are. We're playing Sagebrush. Sit, bud. Um, and we are going... Oh, shit. We're going crazy. We're going into the mines. Uh, nope, there he is. There's my boy. Hi, Bubba. Why, why, why do we need mines? Uh, that is a great quee. Quee! That's a question and a key. I just put two words together. Quee, everybody! Woohoo! Call Miriam Webster. Get down, bud. There you go. Okay, he's off me. Now I can flail wildly. Anyhow, um, we're going into the mines. I don't know what the mines are for. I don't know why. We're gonna find out. Out of service! Examine wooden boards. Oh, hey, I have something for wooden boards. Uh, you hack away with the axe until the boards fall away, revealing an open space behind it. I did not even intend that. Let's go over here real quick, though, before we go anywhere under the earth and just make sure that we're not missing anything. They like to, like to hide shit from you in this. Mines! What are we doing with mines? What is the reasoning? Alright, this goes against every fiber of my being. But, let's do it. Going down. Really going down. What's, okay. I guess that's got a, the elevator's got a top. Where am I going? Mmm, boy. This looks like exactly like the place that I wanted to be today. I'm, I'm, what the, f hey. I'm trying to walk. My, it's like my controls are getting harder. Oh. No, it's not like my con- Oh my god. I'm having some issues, everyone. Just give me- I don't like this place. At all. Okay, we, I'll go down here. Hey, there's a generator! I have a key for one of those! I don't know- How is this happening? Um... There's a fire truck just went past my house. Okay. What is the gener- it, I do see how it's useful. There's a rusting key with- Oh, okay, I guess no dice there. That's fine. Can't turn on- Why would you want to be able to turn on the generator? Do I need a secondary generator key? That's where I came from. Whoa, hey, wait, that's, do I, can I examine that? No, okay, so we found blood. What am I gonna, oh boy. Wow. They were really working hard down here. What is the point of all this? This can't be another tunnel. Oh my god, it is. Okay. It's go oh, okay, so we were doing gun shooting down here. We were shooting the weapons. Okay, let's... God, this place is huge! So that makes sense, because... That's on the ground. Wait, hold on, I didn't look. Eh, I mean, the grouping is a little scattered, but... You got two pretty close to the heart, and then, I mean, you're getting vitals, so... Um, there's another one. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's good enough. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yep, those are weapons. Military grade rifles and ammunition piled in the interior. 
Oh boy. Now we're uh, now we're getting there. More military grade stuff. Are all of these full of like weaponry? Do I get to open every one of these? Yep. Alright. Cool. What's this? Pick up oil can. What the fuck do I need an oil can for? What was that sound? Read pamphlets. Contingency protecting the flock. Our secular um, enemies are imminent salvation. See our imminent salvation and want to find them filled with uh, jealousy and rage is what they have. They want to keep the world immersed in sin and they will stop at no lengths to prevent us from fulfilling the Lord's plan. We must be prepared to protect the flock. Henry was cap able to use his contacts in the Southwest Patriots Corps to give us arms and armor for protection. He will be leading training drills starting Thursday. Mandatory for all of the flock, children including, we will rise up and fight in Christ's name is necessary. So this is a violent... This is a, a violent, aggressive, anti... more pamphlets. I'm guessing they say the same thing. Yep. Something must really be going on outside my house, because that is the third emergency vehicle that's gone whipping by in the last five minutes. More weapons. Great. Okay. So, I've gone through here. And... Uh, that's the way I came, I'm pretty sure. So, what's down here? More blood. Oh! Um, well, mine carts. Move mine cart. That is why I need the oil can. Eat out the remaining oil from onto the rusting wheels. Move it! That's kind of spooky. Examine. I'm sure I'm going to have to bust down some more wood. Hack away with the axe until the boards fall away. Open in space behind. Um. What? Yep. Yep. There's the body. Pick up gas can. Decomposing body curled in the fetal position. You reach out and touch it, and a note falls from the corpse's pocket. Great. Really sorry, dude. This is kind of just... L. Got your... The sun is... The sun is gone! That's it! It's dark outside! I got your delivery. I made a copy of the key to James' room last night, but I think Andrew noticed he was acting suspicious. I'm gonna hide the copy somewhere we both have access to it in case something happens. Look in the southwest corner of the cornfields. You'll find it. Was that Leonard? Is that Leonard that's dead? I think it might have been my fault they found Peyton. Oh, Peyton. We were seen together too often, maybe. But how would they know? Maybe they saw the pamphlet? I don't know. I don't know, but I can't shake the feeling that it's my fault. It doesn't matter. They found him. They told us he had decided to leave the flock. Yeah, because that would be I didn't be believe them, but I didn't ask any questions. After that, we moved on. It was like he had never been there at all. It scared me, but instead of trying to get away, I just let myself fall deeper in. I did my best to shut out any doubts. It was easier that way. Oh boy, oh boy. It is deep down in here, and I'm not just talking about the mine. Okay, so we go this way, and we'll come to an impasse, and we've gone that way. So then you go this way. And I think I've gone that way. You can't go that way. I've gone every way that way. So I think I'm good to get out of here. It feels like I am. Did I? No, I haven't gone down this way, though. Have I? Wait, I might have. Is this how I get to... Okay, it is crazy easy to get turned around in this place. So I have come this way. And what happens if I go this way? I'm actually confused as to where I am. Um, what if I go this way? Or did I just come from this way? Nope, this is the elevator. 
So I think I've gone every which way I can go. Um, yeah, that feels right. It doesn't feel like I need to... That there'd be anything else. I'm... I'd like to... Oh my god. Do I have to go turn on the generator now? Generator's over here. That much I do remember. Okay, yeah. Can I please? Don't tell me I'm stuck down here. Okay. Come on. I want to go. It's fine. Everything's fine. Let me out. Why can't I leave? What the... Are you kidding me? I'm stuck down here? I'm stuck! I can't leave! This is horseshit! How am I supposed to get out of here? This is... what... what the hell? If I go down this way, I end up in the crate area. So if I go back... I go... I end up over here. I would like to leave. What am I supposed to do? Am I gonna die in the mines? Oh, this is stupid. Great! The game glitched! I'm fucking stuck down here! What am I supposed to do with that? I, get, I can't... I can't leave this place now. It won't let me. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. I have an idea. Before I panic... Hold on. Sorry, everyone. Sorry, I was having a moment. I want to... I i don't need the lights anymore. I've checked everything out. What I would like is to leave. Alright, cool. I was just getting very confused. I was like, oh, I've got the generator key! I can leave! And then it never occurred to me that it might be out of gas. But it's okay. Alright, well, let's leave this shit shack. Before... Before I... Um... Yep, that is the gone sun. Sun be gone. And so... Now I am to go... Away. Now I have to go to the, where the south... What's the southwest corner? Of the cornfield. This is me running, by the way. Do you have any idea of how fucking hard it is to see right now? Okay. So, if I was thinking south and west... Um... Let's just look at the map. But I'm pretty sure... Okay, wait, wait, wait. So that's... it. At the bottom you can see the compass. North is that away. So I would equate north with west. I'm terrible with directions um so north that's north 
over there. So absolutely south. So actually, I'm almost in the right spot. I just need to go to the other quadrant of the corn. Yes? Okay. This over here would be southwesty. I'm pretty sure. Let's look at the map. So if that was north, I've walked all the way the opposite direction, and east would be that way, what would be never eat soggy waffles so I should literally be in the right place um I guess I have to walk in this shit oh hey I found it that wasn't hard at all that was very southwest uh finding a small brass key Oh, I wonder if this is going to be, like, a cycle. My flashlight has, like, no range. Um, if this is going to be a cycle where by the time I'm all done, it's morning. That would be kind of creepy. Okay, so I need to go back to the rectory. Because what the key that I just found is, is supposed to be the copy of James's room key. So I would imagine it's that locked room at the rectory. So that's where we're going. This feels... It, like, feels... It, feel, it almost feels less weird, strangely, at night. Like, that late afternoon sunlight made it feel more spooky and empty and lonely. Because night feels spooky and lonely anyway. Like, night's already kind of a creepy time. And, I don't know, it just... It doesn't feel as creepy to me. Like, I realize... Um... And suddenly it feels more creepy because I'm looking upstairs and I can see light. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go in there. Like it wasn't creepy and then I came in and I saw light and became very creeped out indeed. Small brass key covered in dirt, unlabeled. Hmm. Yes. Alright. Lots to take into account. Um, so, I guess the first thing, we'll just start over here. Examine shoebox. Stuff with baggies, white powder, and a glass pipe, black at the end. Okay, so he's doing cocaine. Cool. Um, I'd like to... Oh, James's journal. Like I said, your secrets, mine now. Finally slept last night, spoke with the devil. He came to the foot of my bed to bargain for the safety of the flock, but lo, I outsmarted him, begged me to stop my crusade, and I spat in his face. Spat in the devil's face, and he shriveled away. Bro, you are on it. You are on some stuff. Sin has a physical mass. I have measured it in experiments and have determined it the mathematical formula for determining a person's sin. Weight not visible to the naked eye. Requires a special weighing device. Attune divine wavelengths will build and test all flock to ensure cleanliness, especially Lily and Juliet Leonard. Fuck you. Intended to wait for Juliet to come out of come of age for alternative cleansing, but came across rabbinic text citing consummation of marriage as young as three years and one day will pray and wait for answer. What? Dream notes. A great wing of the Leviathan emerges from the cloud, speaking in radio waves, surrounded by angels. Leviathan spoke of the deceiver closing in, bringing unclean evil to the flock, infecting them with doubt, and opening our gates to the outside world. Shh, shh, I'm reading. Angels flew in the Leviathan's mouth and lit his tongue on fire. Breath of flame exploded outward and engulfed the world in my dream. I understand, Lord. Okay, I don't think you do, but that's fine. Okay, so he was doing coke and a safe. Okay, wow. Um, examine bed. Father James' bed, messy, covered in thick woolen sheets that have held in years must of must. Okay, that's cool. Um, let's go over here. 
anything in these boxes. The creaking is too much. I thought I have wonderful things. No. No. <clears throat> My flock, I have wondrous news. The days of reckoning are upon us. Some of you may be afraid. No. My flock, I have wondrous news. The days of reckoning are upon us. Be not afraid. This is the day we have been working towards all the focal point of all history, the end point of all creation. I have seen the signs. I have heard the word of the Lord. I speak the word of the Lord. I am the word of the Lord. Yes, that's good. Okay. I didn't catch the code for the safe. I don't want to watch that all again. It was really hard to pick up. Oh, come on. Oh, stop with the creaking. Another altar also bathed in red light sitting under a wall of religious imagery. A painting depicting Christ's body being removed from the cross at Golgotha. A reprint of an etching of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, and I'm and the painting shows an intensely focused middle-aged man. Um, what I always thought was James, but maybe not. So I have to go through this. Hold on, there's a box. A stack of old nudie mags ranging from pretty tame to seriously perverted, tucked away under the bed as if it's a 12-year-old's bedroom. This guy is literally just all the things. Use lamp? Yeah, I want to use a lamp. Now I can't. I missed it. Can I read your little book? Nope. Okay. So, everyone's going to have to give me a minute. I couldn't hear the code because it's really staticky and stupid, so I'm just going to have to go back in there and hear it again. Okay. He was saying it was 3564. Not 3569, not 3568. I didn't... Didn't mean to do that. Open. Um. Do I I need a key? Okay. Um. Use lock. Thank you. Three. Five. Wrong way. Six. Four. Okay, that's great. I'm guessing... Read notes. Praise be to the Lord, our temple has been revealed. Angels of the Lord have revealed specifications for our temple. The temple of the prophet shall be a sacred space, reserved only for Father James and his chosen temple to further pursue revelation and closeness to the Lord. The temple will contain a single king-size bed, food enough for two people in 200 days, full copies of my scripture weapons and ammunition. The measurements which must be followed exactly are as follows. Doesn't matter. Um, what else is in there? Read notes. Pick up. Seal. You have the seal now. No more excuses. It's time to head to the chapel and face the past. Was I a member? Am I the girl? Am I the, am I the girl that, like, was the girl that... Am I Lily? Is that her name? Well, I'm not making excuses. I'm going. Wait, I am gonna go just as soon. 
I'm ready to go now. Okay. The church is up on the hill. And I don't... There's a path, but do I care? Ask me if I care that there's a path. I'll get up there. There we go. There's the stairs. So, uh, why is the light on? That's so creepy. Oh, yes, place the seal. And let's go inside. Yes, open the door. I'm ready. It's time to finish this. Whatever this was. So my question is, Father James. He was crazy. Um, I guess I don't need to play the organ. But, did he really believe his own... Like, I wonder if he was just a guy on drugs who kind of, like, was able to be charismatic enough to lead? Or if he, like, had this craziness in him beforehand. Because, I don't know. It just, like, usually cult leaders seem to believe their own nonsense. Don't be afraid. There's no need to be afraid. Um, this would absolutely we be must go to be through afraid. The flames, but the flames will not hurt us. Oh, they will! Not our true selves. Our spiritual selves. I know his will, and it's time. This world is molded in filth. It's too far gone. They sent demons to test our resolve. They expected us to give up the fight, but here, today, we prove to all of them that we never gave up. This is Our feels like giving up. Never wavered. Today, we take our place at the foot of the throne of the Lord. Here now, we'll dull the bodies a little. There's no need for it to hurt. Here, drink this. Drink this. Pass these around. Things will go a little fuzzy, but then the flames will take us. And we will join our Lord in his heaven. We will be by his side forever. Where we belong. Amen. I there wasn't that many people Amen. here, were there? Boy, I love each and every one of you so much. God bless. That's when they locked the doors. And then Andrew and Leonard started soaking rags and lighter fluid as well. I started handing out the cups. Little paper cups full of crushed up quaaludes mixed with lemonade. Father kept preaching as we drank. They lit the rags and put them around the outer walls. Everything caught so quickly, as soon as everything was on fire. And How are you recording this? Sat, sat down in it, let it take them. Something clicked, I, I don't know what. I needed to get out. I didn't want to die. No! I remembered Father's temple and I ran. So, am I just... Okay, there we go. I was like, am I just living here now? Is this the deal? So, is this me? Am I playing as the girl? What was that? That was... Creepy. Uh... I don't know that I need anything to examine the bookshelf. Is, is there? I want. I want to use that light switch, please. Didn't do much for me, did it? Okay. Well, I guess I need to look at this. Do you remember? Don't you remember? Don't you remember how you survived? Why don't you want to remember? Um, who? I don't know. It's just a. There's a weird Easter egg hunt. I don't know. Who am I? Am I her? You know why. When the time came, you couldn't face the Lord. Your doubt had eaten away at you. You didn't join them in their glorious death, but your doubt... In your doubt, neither did you save them. Got it. Okay, so this is... What the fuck is that in the corner? You are a coward. No! Okay, everything's fine. Uh... 
Okay, he's, of course he's got a secret hatch. So where does this end up? Let's speed up the process. I ain't got all day. What the French? Another altar, altar based in red, red light under religious imagery. I hear sounds. Is this, that's, yep, that's the Jesus painting, and let me guess, this is the four horsemen. Yep. Who is this? Is this Anne? Is this Lily? What the f- This place is crackers. Covers are still rustled from the few nights you spend here. What? The few nights you spent here. I am her. I am her. I came back. Right? This- I'm the girl. I'm the girl on the tapes. I have to be. So I remembered he had a bunker downstairs. Bookshelf is full of fringe religious texts and several copies of Father Dream's works in the lower corner tucked away as there's a stack of comic books. So he was a coke addict who had religious fantasies. I don't think I can use the VCR anymore. I think that stays. Okay, well, let's listen to this real quick. The door shut behind me and everything was dark and completely silent. As if the burning chapel and all the people dying behind me didn't exist. If the chapel burned, how's it up? The drugs took over then, and it was all I could do to crawl into bed before I passed out. Okay. Do I get another tapity taper? Is that just that? Cool bunker though. Um, hey, let's go over here. Nothing for me there. What about over here? Crates? Oh, I was gonna say I can't open these crates, but I can. More weapons. In our little bunker here. More weapons. Lots of weapons. Why do you need so much stuff? Full of spoiled food. This is like other parts of the game that I've been in, except different, because it's under a church. It's a church. Oh my god, how far down does this go? There, I mean, there must have been some crazy money involved in this, because... Oh, don't even. No... Okay. Man, who started the fire? Ma'am, I know you've been through a lot, but we need your cooperation to piece all of this together. Who started the fire? Not me! Um, pr pretty much everyone. Father James was the first flame, but the others helped it spread. So they weren't coerced? No. They were... Weeping with joy, people were singing. And you? I wasn't. What did you do? I ran. Ma'am? So I'm like having flashbacks of... of what happened afterwards, now that I've told... Hello? Oh, it's just getting worse and worse. How's it gonna end? And with another altar. Yeah, it's getting darker. It's getting darker down here. I don't like it. Oh, therapy. Okay. Let's Honey, do that now. You're being quiet. I don't know what to say. It's I was in a cult! Lillian, was it something we did? Dad. I just don't understand how you could run off and join some insane cult. I don't know, Dad. I don't know. It's easy to You're do. You're What were you thinking? Lillian, the things I've heard on the news. Where are you going? How do you think it happened? That kind of shit. She was isolated and alone, and then all of a sudden you bearing down on her. Uh, 
All right, here we go again. Are we not done? I thought we were doing therapy. Like it. That's still what I was saying earlier. It's it's not like a thing that only it's like completely average people can join them. It's it because they don't start out looking like this. So, Lillian, have you been having any more thoughts since your last attempt? All the time. Now this is therapy. It seems as if you almost regret surviving the fire. Maybe she does. I don't know. I, I don't. It's so confusing. I didn't want to die, but I feel like I let them all down. Let them down because you didn't save them? Or because you didn't die with them? I don't know anymore. Who can tell? Listen to me. No matter what, you deserve to live. I promise you. Lillian, you deserve to live. I... I need to go. I, I can't do this right now. I, I can't. Boy, I uh, have never been so appreciative to have not had to go through these feelings before in my life, but boy, howdy, am I. My problems seem very small compared to what I'm going through right now. <laughs> This is a long old ending, though. Jeez. Okay. Oh, I'm at a bar. I'm sure you don't want to hear me ramble about mechanical engineering for another 20 minutes. Tell me more about you. You oh. study communications, right? What kind of job does that get you? <laughs> well, right off the bat, not much. I I couldn't find work, so I uh. So I joined a cult. Backpacking through Europe for a year after college. Oh, cool. I always wanted to do something like that. I bet it was amazing. Yeah, it was super fulfilling to see all those different ways of life. Really eye-opening. God, that was a long time ago. How long Man, was I'm it? I jumped right into work after school. Working 70, what, 80 hours? You know how it is. Just expected to devote everything to it. It's like a, like a religion. It took me a while to see how messed up it was. Yeah, I can imagine. Okay, so are things getting better? Or is this going to be like the moment where he finds out you were in a cult? Oh yeah, it's getting deep. We're just reliving the end here. We're, she, I wonder, I wonder how this ends for her. Right here? You have one unheard message. First unheard I'm message driving. sent yesterday at 7.15 p.m. Lil, is, is everything all right? I'm driving here. I've been trying to get a hold of you all day. P please pick up. I'm worried about you. Don't be. I'm exploring. Okay, just just call me back. Love you. Okay, and so things... This message. To delete this message, press 7. Message deleted. I, I was gonna say that when you press the button that quick, you're not saving the message. So we drove here. Okay. But uh, this, what? What do we do? Can I leave? I don't want to. Oh, no. I'm going backwards. This is it. I'm going backwards. Don't tell me I drove all the way here to not make it. I'm leaving. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's no way that this thing burnt, that this, that this place burnt up, and that it just managed, managed to stay standing. This is it. I remember now. I tried like, not to. I thought I could move on. Pretend it hadn't happened. But here it is. I'm looking at it. Yeah! I was here. We were all here. And now it's just me. But... You made it! 
Oh, good. I was—I thought that was gonna take a dark turn there at the end. Oh, Lil Jesus, there you are. I've been trying to get a hold of you for hours. Where are you? I—I I, I had to take care of something. Look, just. just are you okay? Yeah. I was great. getting worried. Yeah, yeah, yes, I'm, I'm fine. Um, I'm heading home now. Tim, there's some things I need to tell you. Oh boy! That's gonna be a conversation to be had over a nice long weekend and lots of tea. Oh, okay. See, I'm like at Anne first, waiting for the bus. Normally, I avoid talking to just about anybody, but she struck up the conversation. Well, she would, wouldn't she? Was she was so pleasant, so confident. She smiled at me as if she had known me as a kid, and we were just catching up after all these years. She told me she could tell I had a hole in my life. She knew what that was like, she said. She had also had a hole, but it was gone now. I asked her what she was selling, and she laughed and said nothing, nothing at all that what she had to offer was free for anyone who wanted it bad enough. I asked her what had helped her. She just said, James. I got the Archivist. Okay. That was a good ending. I was worried that when she started going backwards, that it was going to be like a situation of... um of like spiraling out of control and like ending up in a like dead basically i thought she was gonna end up dead but i really liked that and i was wondering how the church could if they burnt it up how she could have gone into a perfectly intact church total time two hours and 30 minutes all tapes found um wow that is that actually was a pretty impressive game. I didn't know what to expect at first, but I liked it. I liked it a lot. And it definitely had some darkness to it, but, you know, life is... It's dark and it's light, and you can't pick and choose. It's just, it is what it is. But, oh, that ending was actually super good. And actually, it was actually kind of powerful, too. Because as we kept going down, I was like, oh, this is going to, like, spiral out of control. I thought I was going to watch the rest of her life fall apart based on this one decision that she made and it's actually kind of cool that it's back on track and she just had to go back and like I don't know like see it and process it or however you do I wouldn't know where to begin with that kind of a thing but that was a uh, that was cool that was a really cool it was a cool game um I don't know if it's going to take me back to the it didn't didn't take me back to the ending. So, um, that was Sagebrush, and that was really good. That was really good. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, so, you know, take it for what it is. It's just a game, but it, I'm sure it has roots in some, some truth. I'm sure it was inspired by something. But anyway, that was it. That was the end, so I really liked it. I thought it was a good game. I thought it was... Very well done, and I'm glad I played it. So thank you guys for sticking with it, and thank you for coming back to One Room Over Gaming. And um, that's all I got for you guys. So have a good day. Have a good night. Don't join a cult, and I'll see you next time. All right. Bye, everyone.